Hello YouTubers! Hmm. I have a bit of a sore chin here today because um, yeah because today <clears throat> I think many others have a sore chins today because uh, today uh, during a break at work I had a little look at the news and there it's said that uh, the winner of the Nobel Literature Prize is Bob Dylan and my jaw of course hit the floor so that's why it's a bit of a pain but I mean, you couldn't. I, I, I mean, I uh, couldn't really think of anybody. I think deserve it more. Uh, I was a bit sad because I had just read that my favorite literature li literature prize winner, uh, the Italian playwright Dario Fo, had just passed away. I've been a fan of his of his plays for many many years, uh, but of course he was an old man. So well, all right. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, but Bob Dylan, well done, Nobel Prize Committee. As um, I have to say, I'm quite proud today, as a Swedish uh, citizen, because the Nobel Literature Prize Committee, uh, the Swedish Academy, made such a good choice. Uh, so of course, um, the, I don't think I've talked that much about Bob Dylan before in my channel, but uh, I. Uh, started listening well i started exploring him as a songwriter many years ago i don't even remember when back in the 80s i think uh, but somehow i was a bit his voice didn't really appeal to me so i never really got close to his him as a singer and performer until well <coughs> sorry <clears throat> i think i was around 30 when i actually started buying his record and really listening to to uh, to his records and, and his music even if I had big, been a big fan of his songs I've heard them with other artists but uh, um, and I just realized I'm not going to talk about my favorite Bob Dylan albums here in this video I think that would be a bit yeah well a bit boring maybe uh, I'm going to talk about what I most of all admire with Bob Dylan it's not it's not his performing uh, it's not his musicianship, it's not his records really, it's not even his songs. What I admire most with Bob Dylan is the fact that he never really uh, is the way we expect him to be. Yeah, and what do I mean by that? Well, he's changed direction so many times, so his fans have a big problem really keeping up. I mean, there are some people who still hasn't really forgiven him for start for uh, using electric guitars on his uh, records and on, on his concert back in the mid '60s. But uh, they haven't really kept up with what has happened since then. I mean, I mean, I have here some interesting Bob Dylan records. This was his first one, and everybody was amazed, uh, surprised about this young whippersnapper making this uh, interesting folk uh, music record <coughs> with <coughs> bits of folk and blues and yeah quite a traditional album after all because many are traditional songs and some covers too and some songs of his own but i think he more amazed or surprised people oh my goodness what a good songwriter and the folk singer uh, around this album the free william bob dylan uh, well, of course, an iconic sleeve here, and uh, yeah, he became a bit of an icon for the folk buffs, for the folk music buffs, those who hated this rock and roll stuff, those those with intel, the, the, those who were intelligent and, and um, read lots of books, and he he's he's our spokesperson, he's the one we shall follow. And what does he do then? I mean, Bob Dylan doesn't want to be some sort of spokesperson; he doesn't want to be followed. He wants to make music that interests him so he wants to be influenced by others he stuff he's listening to uh, pop music and rock and roll and what happens around this album well he starts using electric guitar drums electric bass oh what a traitor what a traitor what a traitor well <laughs> some never forgave him but of course the, these records are true masterpieces. This is one of the best one, I think. 
Uh, so now he's a pop star. So he's a real hip pop star. Uh, uh, and everybody follows him and listens to him. And what does he do then? Well, then he changes again. No, back to acoustic. Back to very mellow. No, back to the um, thoughtful lyrics. Back again with John Wesley Harding. Okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. We can we can relate to that. That's all right. That's all right. But then what did he do? He he stopped using his famous nasal folk singer and became a country singer. Did Nashville Skyline. And if people were if his fans were weren't confused before, they were certainly confused now. He sang with a completely new voice and he did country and western in 1969. Well, of course, what happened? Well, as all the time, I mean, every time it, the, during the 60s, the other bands were checking Bob Dylan. Okay, what's he doing now? Oh, oh, he's doing country. We have to do country too. And oh, we, oh, oh, he's doing folk rock. We have to do folk rock too. So everybody listened. And well, then we got a lot of country rock in the late 60s for, well, for obvious reasons. Well, or maybe country rock was just becoming very popular and uh, or roots rock. And Bob Dylan thought, yeah, I like that too. We don't really know, do we? <sighs> so, well, he surprised everybody by sounding, you know, a way he's never sounded before. And if that didn't confuse, what about the next album? Self-portrait, a really weird mishmash bland. I mean, you find everything here. You hear, you hear Elvis Presley covers and uh, s songs that sounds like they are. Well, this is a very confusing album, Self Portrait from 1969. And he kept on confusing. Then we have some steady years. He uh, worked together with the band in the 70s and, oh my God, and made some really great albums. Uh, but then he be decided, okay. He's, he went into a religious phase, and I don't think that many had, expe had expected that in the late 70s with Slow Train coming and the uh, next records. And people say, okay, so now he's a gospel singer. All right, all right. That's also a bit surprising, a bit surprising. Maybe not as surprising as when you turn into a, a country singer. Okay, but still, 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 he's Bob Dylan. He's a great songwriter. He makes really good songs. And good albums then I'm okay sorry if I step on step on some somebody's foot here but I don't think that the records he did in the mid 80s are, are that good um, they have aged horribly and, and the songs no well who am I to talk about Bob Dylan writing bad songs no 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 all artists have their periods that aren't really that good so people started thinking oh no Bob Dylan he's a, he's a has been you know what I mean? <coughs> and he decided to uh, take second seat in the traveling Wilburys and oh wrong and then no oh, he oh, and then this came oh mercy with uh, produced by Daniel Lanois and uh, well reinstated his uh, career in my view I think many some others say this was the best album of the 80s and somebody says, some says, okay, it's the best album of the 80s, but it doesn't really say that much. Okay, so continue to make albums and also albums where he sang uh, old folk songs and, and his own material in a quite steady pace. <coughs> and uh, he got the Polar Music Award in the early 90s and so on. And then the next time he really uh, surprised us all was when he decided, oh, I'm going to make a Christmas album. Christmas in my heart. Bob Dylan, Bob Dylan Christmas album? What? A bit surprising, you have to admit that, a bit surprising when this arrived. I think many <laughs> might have even thought, is this a joke? Uh, and some people, after listening to it, still uh, ask the question, is this a joke? Anyway, well, 
uh, we realized, okay, he's still making great songs and he's still very active, but his voice is getting hoarser and hoarser and hoarser and hoarser. And he started to sound more a bit like a um, uh, well, th thrash metal singer or something like that. So, but he's still Bob Dylan. He's still, after all, he's done all these weird changes and, and uh, still, but he still made so, such great music and he's still Bob Dylan. And then he made this album. Shadows in the Night, where he decided that he's not Bob Dylan, he's Frank Sinatra, and he started to do the American Songbook. So, and he dropped that horse voice and started to sound like Frank Sinatra, or uh, like a crooner, he, he became a crooner. Uh, so, the th and now, as we said, he has got the Nobel Prize in Literature, so... Uh, the, other th uh, the only thing I have to say as well, congratulations, Bob Dylan, and I hope you continue to surprise us many more times. Bye for now.